Yo. Hey there. <laughs> oh, hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Just Kidding. Um, back at Alex's Caves is Rad Titan, Geo Man here, and 80s on the camera for the minute. We are doing a review. We're doing a review of Pop Culture Shocks, um, Mumra from Thundercats. Um, unfortunately, this is um, this is a custom job as well. So this has been painted because uh, I think we did the video before of the original Mumra and it looked fucking awful. So Alex sent it off to his good friend, Ian Wilkinson, to be painted again. So we're going to run through it. I'm going to quickly go through the box, hand you over to the man himself to go through his piece and then we'll be, uh, we'll be on. Warning. The following video is rated RT and contains scenes of real men reviewing collectibles. Rad Titan cannot be held responsible for any viewers who act in the same manner or will not be liable for viewers spending their money after screening these reviews. I recommend they like, comment, subscribe and share. The following video contains British accents where available. <laughs> So, box. You get the box. Quite large. The ever living. Quarter scale, Thundercats classic piece. That's what the piece should look like um, before you customise it, before we have a little bit. But um, to be honest with you, I've always found this paint job was a little bit sort of um, flat and, and, and I, didn't like the, I didn't like the shade of blue. It just it looked really toy like. I just I wasn't too keen mm. on it. I wasn't too keen on it at all. Uh, and there's some awesome artwork. And, Fucking dude himself, he's a legend. Um, got a little bit of toilet reading, and you've got a nice that's bit. Of, so you like the base, didn't you? That's probably I do really like the base. The base yeah. is actually pretty nice, in fairness. It is I mean, I've had two of these pieces, and um, both of them uh, turned up with pretty much the same damage. So it says a lot, though, doesn't it? If mm. you're picking up, we'll, we can point out what to look for. Yeah. Okay, and then we have the uh, edition size, which says number 42 of 400. So it's a really low edition, but we, uh, we should expect no less from Pop Culture Shop, and it uh, stands 26 inches tall, so that's pretty good that it tells you that. Don't even need to measure it. Don't even bother. And then we have, obviously, this is an Ikea frame, uh, what are these called? Uh, they're you, called uh, Ribber. Ribber, Ribber frames that uh, you can put your PCS um, certificate of authenticity in, signed by Jerry McAuliffe. Well, the PCS certificates are only sort of six by four, which is sort of standard size of a photo anyway. So is it really? Any frame would do. Oh, cool. Fuck you. <laughs> all, right. all right all right take this shit yeah. take this shit so um go on then open it up so oh. yeah oh sorry let me look at you and your t-shirt yeah uh, no i ain't got a thundercat one today so um yeah just moving on to the piece and uh getting some uh, camera time it's so bring... this is covered in polystyrene i've had it on this plate for ages i'm pretty sure it's um from not taking loads of stuff out of boxes today so what we'll do is, um, I mean, the best part about it is, is, is probably the cape. Uh, the cape mm. is huge. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could literally have him really wide. I've seen someone display him where he's raised up and uh, you've got Lino in front of him. Mm. That'd be pretty cool. Um, it's, a, to, it's a beast, isn't it? Yeah, when I got this piece, um, I got an exclusive one for free. I uh, just had to pay shipping from uh, Wilson Bell. So, yeah. You're right, brother. Uh, Wilson Ball, sorry, not Bell. B Bell. Uh, his, his name's actually Wilson Romario, but he's, he's on Facebook. It's, it's uh, Ball. Okay. Um, and uh, I bought the uh, Lino exclusive off him, and he just said to me, if you want to pay shipping, uh, you can have the Mummer exclusive as well. Mm. Um, and then I, I got that off him, and then um, I realised I didn't really need two broken ones. So uh, um, yeah, I sold it to Manny Singh, I think, bought it. Mm. So um, he's a guy who got, he dropped off your Colossus. Yeah, yeah. So the parts have come off. I mean, the uh, the hands come off. Really strong magnets there. Got yeah. The hands there. And uh, that's your little that's your paint job. Let's have a little close up. What you have so. to be look out for on this piece. Uh, there's just so many pieces that that, are, that become damaged. You got these little spikes on the wrists. Mm. Uh, they become damaged. You got anything on the helmet. Uh, literally these snakes. This part here. This part of the nose was broken off. Uh, you you also get this broken. I mean, yeah. this uh, this was repaired and it still ended up getting broken again. In <laughs> Sorry, my man. Hey, Hold fever's on. bad. Um, so, yeah, this got broken again in shipping. But it's no big deal. I mean, just glue back on. 
But, um, the and snail, the snakes, I guess, on the top of the edge, yeah? Yeah, the snakes, this piece, the nose piece is the most common. And the material around the size uh, they come off and stuff, these, they're all poseable, yeah? They're yeah? Right. Pose, these are all poseable, really tough, like uh, wire in there, yeah. comes off. Uh, with the exclusive, you've got the light-up eyes, cool. light-up sword. Um, I definitely prefer the paint job on this, the colour. It's definitely yeah, so darker. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a darker paint job. Uh, it's less blue. Uh, it's a bit more grey. A, a lot more shading done to it as well. Yeah. So you can actually see yeah, his definitely uh, muscular more. Uh, mus mus muscular. muscular. You can see his muscular more. Yeah. You mean his musculature. Musculature. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and then if you come back, I mean, the, uh, the cape does drop a little bit. So, yeah, that's one of the other issues with that. There's like a wire under here. So you probably lift that up like that but the cape is just really cool it's a bit, definitely the best piece and there's definitely like like a wire the wire is like equivalent of like a a coat hanger wire coat hanger yeah. oh there's a number on the back um, as well that's cool number here so you have to lift it up that's handy for us um because i wasn't going to uh, <laughs> uh it's 42 400 and um I do really like the base. It's a nice metallic. Did he touch that or is that just how it comes? Uh, I don't think he touched that with the base. Yeah, the so. base is a good paint job on it. It looks really good. So, it's got a great paint. Good, uh, Definitely good shading. It's, it's got that, I don't, is that brass? Kind of like a brassy effect. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. Yeah. Um, so... I really like it, man. I, I really, I, I really like what he's done with it. You know, I've, I, I wasn't a fan of this piece at all when I first saw it. I thought it was shite. But I've got to say, since I mean, it's amazing what just a simple paint job difference will do. Because now I, this is the mummer I know. This is the sort of like you know that grey and dark shading. It looks just it's a little, just a little bit more real, man. Do whatever you want with these things. Like, you know, it's awesome. So Actually, looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll stick them in the off. Yeah. Uh, we'll measure them first, which we need yeah to do a here. size comparison. Yeah, before uh, we. Have. So we do the uh, there. So as on the box, it is 26 and 26 and a touch to the top of yeah. this. I'm not counting that because that can be moved. Yeah, sure. Um, and then with the beer, got another dead crow. Um, so there you go. They should fucking sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's just it's so, massive yeah, compared. You pause it, and then I'll put it away in the ship. All right. So just to uh, there's my my lino. Uh, these these two are um, they're kind of like center in my uh, display really. So mm. got lino down there. He's Huge, I mean, it's like 32, I think, or 31 inches uh, to the top of his sword. And then moving up, you've got the uh, the mummer there in the centre. So that's how I display him. Got the comics of the background that George bought me. Um, also, I think I've wired a video cover for uh, Mumra, but. Uh, don't it's there, man. No, there's the oh, Lilo one there. Um, I move all my stuff around so often I lose track of things. But uh, yes, yeah, so that's where it goes. Um, thanks, guys. You know the business. Like, subscribe, comment. Share and uh, let us know what you think, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah.